Good morning, I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce, and we are lucky today to be zooming into business with, with Delphina Gilbert, but I'm just going to call her Del because, you know, I have tongue twisting um, problems, so I'm just going to say, hey, Del. Hi, Janie, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Now, Del is with a business called Sandy Care that's located on Route 18, kind of by Route 94, very close. And so um, Del is a new member of the Wadsworth Theory Chamber of Commerce, and we went to find out all about her business, Sandy Care. So Del, if you can tell us about Sandy Care, we would greatly appreciate it. I'd be more than happy to. Sandy Care is a great day center that works on behalf of some of the most underserved, underserved uh, individuals in the community. These individuals happen to have intellectual and developmental disabilities. I think that Sandy Care is the type of business that it is a business. However, it also works to, let's put it this way, it serves and services individuals with developmental disabilities. The business actually started, uh, the day center started in 2016. And I started it by myself with a number of individuals. Um, we would uh, do day activities, all sorts of crafts, all sorts of activities by which they would take us out into the community and field trips. We'd go to the park and we'd have lunch out in the park. We would go to um, museums. We would um, go and meet people in our, our court system, all sorts of things. But this was getting individuals or clients that I have into the community as an inclusionary project. Because a lot of times in the, in the past, a number of these people weren't uh, able to do that. They were uh, shuttered in, in, um, in, in, let's say, places where it was just them. They didn't get out to meet others in the community. Okay. I decided that it would be very important for these people to get out into the community. And I found myself as, as a vessel by which this would happen. Very nice. Now, what's so unique about Sandy Care? One of the things that is most unique about Sandy Care is our podcast. Our podcast has, it now reaches out to more than 7,000 people. I know that's not a lot to some, but it is a lot for a day center such as ours to be um, to be to be working to be to be actually getting. It is our way, another way of getting out into the community and seeking a way of inclusion. So the podcast, uh, there's a lot of antics. There's a lot of fun. There's some serious discussion also, and they love it. They really love it. Another thing with that podcast that's very unique is that the individuals, the clients themselves are the host of the program. And we have a producer also. How wonderful. Yeah. Now, Del, why do you love what you do? Because I know you do. I love what because one of the reasons is I'm, I'm an RN. I'm a registered nurse by profession. And I'd worked in uh, the hospital system. I worked in, and I worked a, a short period of time in pediatrics. Um, and I got the opportunity to work with individuals with uh, developmental disabilities, both adults and children. Uh, shortly thereafter, some seven years after I worked in a hospital system, I went on and uh, worked for the school system in um, the Cleveland area, the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. And I saw where in, uh, developmental dis disabled individuals were kept from the mainstream student areas. Okay. And I didn't like that. I thought that the, the system, all systems, school systems could do better um, by our developmentally disabled people. 
So I got to learn more about the DD people um, through working as a school nurse. And um, I did learn a lot. And I thought, well, how can I put myself in a position to be of benefit to them? And uh, I decided to start the day center and it has worked very, very well in the area. It's done very well. Well, I was honored to have a tour and I wanted to stay. It's so fun and the learning and the socialization is terrific. Yes. So yeah. Dell, how can people find Sandy Care? Well, Sandy Care is located in Medina. It is uh, actually close enough to the Akron Fairlawn area also. It's kind of in between here. Right. And uh, we are at 1484 Medina Road in Medina. And uh, we're in the industrial park. And I think this is a great area to have a business such as mine. Uh, we still seek to have clients. Um, they can contact us. They can contact me direct, really, at 330-322-3135. Uh, Delphinia, that would be D-E-L-P, as in Paul, H-E-N-I-A, at yahoo.com. That's a direct connection to me. Right. One of the people in the Wadsworth area to know that if you go up uh, 94, that you hit Route 18 and then a left, it's just very, very close to the 18 and 94 intersection. Very much. So, very much so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Sandy Care, too, is spelled S A N D I C A R E. So, one word. Uh, uh, one word. People are looking for that. Well, you certainly provide an amazing service. It's, it, I can't even tell you when I left seeing you. It, it just warms my heart that you have just perfected um, a place for people with disabilities to go and be social and, and uh, get a great education. Yeah, of, um, you know, just of the world. It's, it's very wonderful there. So thank you for all that you do for our community. Thank you, Jim. I wanna add also that we do provide transportation. That's very important as well. Now, while I have you on the horn here, Del, um, are you looking for any um, employees at this time? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are looking for drivers and day center uh, workers, DSPs. Okay. They are direct service providers. Okay. All right. And it's easy to apply and just contact you. Yes. Center and uh, and off you go. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, Delphina Gilbert from Sandy Care. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, Janie. Thank you ever so much. Oh, I really appreciate it. Absolutely.